What's going on guys? Trying something new for you today. I know you like those trade sim videos, so I figured why not try a retro trade sim. Basically, I want to go back and look at some of the biggest trades in the history of the NHL, at least since the NHL video games have been out, and do those trades in-game, see whether or not they would go through, which team accepts, which team declines. As you guys can see by the video title, we're going back to 2005 when the Boston Bruins shook the NHL, trading Joe Thornton to the San Jose Sharks for Wayne Primo, Brad Stewart, and Marco Sturm. So, at the time, Kind of similar, I think, to like the Taylor Hall trade. A lot of people were like, what is Boston doing right now? Trading Joe Thornton. He was in his prime, 26 years old. Uh, I believe he was the face of that franchise. Bergeron was like a rookie. Uh, maybe he had like a couple seasons under his belt at that point. I was actually looking at Hockey DB. Joe Thornton, of course, 15 seasons with the San Jose Sharks, 1,600 games played, 1,500 points, an absolute legend. You can see he's still going at 41 years old. Uh, Marco Sturm here played five years for the Bruins. Ended up almost having a thousand games played in the NHL, but his last season in the NHL was 2011-2012. Nine years ago, Thornton's still going. Uh, Brad Stewart was like a solid defenseman, had a thousand games played in the NHL, only two seasons with the Boston Bruins. Wayne Primo, 774 games played, it's not bad, but similar to Brad Stewart, only two seasons played with the Boston Bruins. So, uh, again, this is a trade, you know, looking back, it looks a lot worse than it did then, and even then, it didn't look too good. Now for this trade, guys, I'm using NHL 2K6, and this is the game that was out when the trade went down. Normally, I'd use an EA game. You can see right here, I have NHL 06 for the Xbox. Unfortunately, though, this game is not backwards compatible with my 360. It's really weird because NHL 4 and 05 are, but 06 for some reason is not. Uh, so we're using NHL 2K6 here, which I didn't realize if you're in Canada, you got Sundin on the cover. If you're in America, you got Marty Turco. So remember, Marty Turco was on the cover, and I saw Sundin. Uh, I was messing me up. And one thing I forgot to show you guys, literally the year after Joe Thornton got traded, he was on the cover of NHL 2K7 after winning both the Art Ross Trophy and the Hart Trophy. Uh, the year he got traded, I believe he was the first and only player to ever do that, so pretty insane. I was kind of actually looking around. Very cool game, some really cool features. I actually got a couple of future video ideas uh, that you guys might see in the not-too-distant future, but uh, for this one, we're just going to do the trade sim. So we go to Franchise here. Um, I think, you know, we're just going to use the default. It doesn't really matter. We're just doing a trade. Um, but like I said, I was looking around the menus. They had stuff that EA recently added. Like, they had an arcade game mode similar to 3. They had a pawn hockey mode similar to 1s. Like, a lot of stuff that's now in the new NHL games 15 years later um, already existed, you know, 15 years ago. Uh, so for this, obviously, we're going to be the Boston Bruins. You guys can see there. They're 82 overall, so they weren't too bad of a team. Again, like, why they traded Joe Thornton, I have no idea. We actually get to hire a head coach right off the bat. I'm just going to let the computers here hire the head coach. This really doesn't matter um, with this franchise sim. So already we're in it. That was actually pretty fast loading time. Uh, we'll go front office here. We're going to go to trades. New trade. I see they have trade history. This is really cool as well. I know in the NHL 21, there's like a transaction screen where you can see all the recent transactions in the league. Some of those are trades. Um, a lot of them are just, you know, big nights, um, waivers, things like that. All-star uh, nominees. This is just trade. So I really like that. Of course, trading block below it. Uh, so new trade here, Joe Thornton, best player on the Bruins at the time, 26 years old. Again, he was in his prime. I know I compared it to Taylor Hall, but honestly, I feel like the Boston Bruins trading Joe Thornton would kind of be like the Florida Panthers trading Alex Barkov. He's like a very similar power forward center in his prime. Really no reason to trade him, but uh, they shock the hockey world and do just that. You can see his contract just under $3 million. It's crazy looking at these contracts from uh, 15 years ago, but... At the same time, I think Yager was making like 13 million. You can see there's like a fighter thing. Yes, enforcer, no. Um, 94 offense, 77 defense. Uh, I noticed there's actually some stats EA doesn't have. So you got a leadership stat there at 80. Brian Leach, of course, a veteran, has a 90. Nerve stat, which is interesting. I'm guessing, you know, big hits, fight effect that. There's a poise stat still, speed, star power. I'm honestly not sure what this is, but if you guys know, Please leave a comment. Uh, next up, you actually have Composure, which is kind of like what Poise is today for EA. Uh, it affects, you know, how well you respond to getting hit. So if that's Composure in 2K, I'm not sure what their Poise stat is. They seem quite similar. Toughness stat as well. Uh, Brian Leach there, 45 is quite low. I think that's probably like uh, durability, the toughness stat. But uh, Poise, Composure, the way I know Poise, how it works today, very similar stats. Even Nerve, coming back from a big hit, like all three of those stats. Seems so similar. You can see there's no like shooting stat, passing stat, just overall offense 94. But anyways, we're going to add Joe Thornton here to the trade. And next we have to go to the San Jose Sharks here to add all those players. Patrick Marlowe, the best player on their team, 88 overall, 26 years old. Of course, these two guys played together in San Jose for over a decade. Unfortunately, no Stanley Cup for either of them yet. I'd love for at least one of those guys to win a cup. I know in our least franchise, we're actually able to win the cup with both of them on the team. 
that was very cool. Uh, so Brad Stewart here, 26 years old, 84 overall, same age as Thornton. Uh, so he's also like in his prime. He's a solid defenseman, a uh, good contract there too. Again, though, basically, it's really a quality versus quantity kind of trade. Like you are trading the best player by far in the trade. And as history shows us, it was not a good trade for the Bruins. Uh, they also get Marco Sturm here, who isn't too bad at the time. 27 years old, 83 overall. Also a pretty good contract, making under a million bucks. I'm just kind of quickly, you know, showing you guys those stats there. He's quite fast, 93 speed. And then the last player in this trade, uh, Christian Erhoff, was on the Sharks back then. What? 23 years old. And like five years later on the uh, Canucks, Ryan Clo, 23. Uh, it's crazy going back in time. Wayne Primo here, 29 years old. So I thought he was actually more in the 30s when this trade went down. But yeah, not even 30. Cheap contract. I mean, he's only 76 overall. He's really not that great. You can see, too, on the right side, the interest there. Um, apparently, the Sharks are not too interested in it. So, I kind of just want to look at it with, like, everything going on. So, Brad Stewart for Joe Thornton, one for one. Very interested. Brad Stewart, Marco Sturm. Immediately, they're not that interested. And they were also asking for Wayne Primo back, which drops another block. So, apparently, the Sharks might say no to this, which is just insane to me. Trade offer has been rejected. Wow. So, apparently, back in the day, 2K's trade values were just as bad as EA's are today, because... That was an absolute fleece by the Sharks, and in-game here, they're rejecting it. That's crazy to me. Also, in case you guys are wondering what the Bruins lines looked like back then, they had Zamnov and Murray playing on the first line with Thornton, so again, he was like their first line center, it makes no sense. Bergeron playing second line center with Sergei Samson. I've actually uh, remember that line a little bit. Brad Boys was the third line center before he got traded to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, fourth line there, I don't really recognize too many of those names. Brian Leach, of course, on the top pair with Boynton, Hal Gill. Uh, Morin, Dom, only recognize those guys. Andrew Raycroft, where he also got traded to the Leafs for Tuka Rass, which is a pretty bad trade too. Uh, so next year, guys, we're going to try the trade from the Sharks' perspective. I, I did not expect that. Like, I cannot believe the Sharks said no. We don't want a 90 overall, 26-year-old first-line center for a few average players. Also, guys, I want to show you this real quick. If you go to party mode on the main menu, they have this elimination mode, which... Sounds pretty similar to the Eliminator mode in NHL right now, whether it be 1's Eliminator or 3's Eliminator. Uh, I think basically it was couch call up with your buddies. Uh, if you got beat, you got knocked out. Like, it's pretty much the same thing. So, uh, you can see down there, there's a mini rink, which like I said, sort of like 3's Arcade, Pond Hockey. Um, sort of like 1, this Dream Team. It's basically like a bunch of stacked custom teams. Uh, it's cr pretty crazy, like I said, all the stuff that's existed for the last 15 years. Uh, so, we're going to get into this one now. As the San Jose Sharks. Mighty Ducks still there. Uh, if you guys are curious, I'll quickly just kind of show you all the overalls as I go through. I'm sure this video is going to be pretty short, of course. We're just making like the one trade. But uh, if you guys were wondering, uh, there you have it. I guess this is the 2005-2006 season. So the Penguins should have Crosby. I'm not sure if there had to be a roster update or something. As of course, he was a rookie at the time. But uh, San Jose Sharks are 82 overall. Same rating as the Boston Bruins, actually. So that's interesting. Um, again, do not care who the coach is going to be for this. They actually have, like, real pictures, though, in-game, which is kind of cool. Now, before we for the trade, the Boston Bruins, guys, I first want to show you what the lines look like pre-trade, I'm pretty sure the Bruins are going to accept it. Uh, so the first line there, you got Marco Stern playing with Patty Marlowe, who was actually a center back then, Jonathan Chichu, um, Milan McCallick on the second line, I don't really recognize the other two names, uh, Sean Thornton there, Wayne Primo, Marcel Gawk, Ryan Close, actually not, you know, bad fourth line, Brad Stewart, so they did trade top pairing defensive, but they still have Scott Hannon and Christian Erhoff, who are pretty solid. I'm not really sure about the other two there. Nabokov the back then was their starter, 90 overall. Tosca backing him up. Another guy got traded to the Leafs, so that's kind of interesting. The Leafs made a bunch of moves back in like the 05 06 era with John Ferguson Jr. as their GM. Unfortunately, it didn't really work out for them. So we're going to go off this trade now to the Boston Bruins. Before we do that, though, you can see I was actually on the Pittsburgh Penguins. I want to show you guys. Uh, Sidney Crosby is in the game. You can see Sergey Gonchar, 89 overall. Same with Mary Lemieux at 40 years old. Sigmund Paul, 88. 18-year-old Sid the Kid, actually Sid the Kid back in this game, 86 overall. Honestly, I love seeing that. Think about going back in the old games, just so cool to me. So, uh, for this trade, Brad Stewart, Marco Sturm, and where is he? Wayne Primo, and we're going to try and get from the Boston Bruins, Joe Thornton. Like, if I was doing a Sharks GM or whatever, I would think this is a steal. Maybe I'm wrong, though, so let's see what they say. The interest you can see... Um, is actually, what, two squares higher? I believe it was, like, just the first two uh, for the Sharks. The Bruins here, it's at half. So, I'm surprised it's not higher. That's interesting. We'll see what they say here. The trade offer's been rejected. Wow. I thought for sure they were going to say yes. So, both teams reject. Which tells me at the time, at least in-game, it was viewed as a pretty fair trade. But again, I think in real life, most people felt like 
Uh, the Sharks definitely fleeced the Bruins there. Now just for fun here, I'm gonna add a first round pick to this trade, see if they now say yes. I noticed there's actually nine rounds of draft picks back then, which is kind of cool, but you can only trade like the draft picks that year. I feel like now the trade, trade's accepted. Okay, so there we go. Uh, computer adjust rosters, because I wanted to do that, kind of show you guys what the line looked like with Thornton. And there you go, first line, Thornton and Chichi. We know what happened there. Thornton basically <laughs> won Jonathan Cheech the Rooster Shard Trophy. Pretty incredible. Uh, of course, he won the Art Ross that year, at least I believe he did. Uh, Patty Marlowe's second line center. So I mean, even after the trade, uh, the team's not looking that bad. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, history told us it was a great trade. I'm a big believer that whoever gets the best player from the trade is the one that won that trade. So uh, if one team, for instance, gets a star, and the other team gets two solid second liners, um, a good middle pairing defenseman, a nice draft deck who turns into like, you know, a solid low end starting goalie. Even though they got a lot of nice pieces, the team with the star player is the one that won that trade because the star player is a lot harder to get um, than just kind of your above average player. Those are the guys you can usually sign pretty easy in free agency. But that's me it guys for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I had a lot of fun just kind of going through the 2K6 menus. Uh, seeing some different things available. So if you'd like to see those videos in the future, leave that thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit the sub button. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.